Hi, welcome back. So in the last uh, presentation, I had kind of given you a, uh, a pretty basic chart, and I'm going to write that back down, which was the three, uh, I would say, let's get rid of that, three most, huh, that's unfortunate, most basic notes. Now, uh, I think I said this in the last video, but uh, these are all just about duration. So we're not talking about what pitch you would play or what instrument would play that. This, uh, these notes you would see it from anything from guitar to piano to saxophone to voice. Uh, so, uh, or uh, to drum set or really to anything. So um, these are, uh, I guess, notes that are independent of, you know, uh, you know, you, you'll see these on any any type of instrument. So these are completely independent of what instrument you're trying to learn. Uh, you will still see these notes. And the first note was a quarter note. And the quarter note looked like that. And I'm going to label it like that. I hope I'm not confusing anyone with this uh, fraction notation. But uh, if I am, I'm also going to write... This is a quarter note. So one fourth is a quarter. And then also in four four time. So in four four time, this gets one beat. So then the next note uh, that we spoke about in the last playlist was the half note. And half note looks like the quarter note except the quarter note has a, a filled in note head like that and the half note has an open note head so it just kind of looks like an open oval and it still has a stem on it uh, and this is the half note which is why it's written like one over two which is one half so it's a half note and this in four four time receives two beats and then finally, I said that this one, I wrote, just wrote a one like that, show that the last uh, most basic note that we're going to cover in this first unit, I guess, is a whole note. And that just looks like an oval, like that. And this is a whole note. And it receives four beats. So... One of the things that uh, you might be a little confused about right now is uh, this column of information, or I guess really I should say this row of information down here that I'm going to circle in red. So pretty much that's saying a quarter note is going to get one beat, a half note gets two, and a whole note gets four beats in four four time is what this is saying. And uh, what we're going to do, and I'm going to kind of try to give you a little bit more information about what all of this means, we're going to start, we're going to clear this off, and I'm going to give you a bit more information on what this is, where I've got this 4-4 uh, four, four drawn. Uh, and this is what's called a time signature, and that's uh, pretty much what this uh, video is going to be about and probably the next video too. Okay, so this video is going to be all about, I'll get rid of these tools, this video is going to be all about time signatures. So, uh, a time signature, and I'll kind of write this, maybe I'll do it a bit smaller than I had been doing it. Uh, I want that. So, a time signature, and that's really annoying. Okay. So, a time signature goes on our uh, five line staff. So, I'll cover this probably more when we get into pitches, but 
most of the music that we're going to be seeing or that we're going to be dealing with in this playlist is going to be written on five lines, and uh, we'll get into more of what these five lines mean later. But uh, one of the things that you'll see on kind of at the beginning of a bar uh, or at the beginning of a piece of music um, on the staff in five lines, you're going to see two numbers. So you'll see you'll see a number on the top right there and a number on the bottom right there. Actually, I'm going to change colors again. Okay. So our number on the top, uh, I'll just write this in. Um, the first time signature we're going to kind of be dealing with is what's known as common time, uh, and that is 4-4 four, four time. So that means that we have a 4 on the top and a 4 on the bottom. One thing I, I kind of noticed that I generally tend to write 4-4 four, four like that. I, I write these open top fours. Most of the time, if you have uh, nice, nicely engraved music and nicely printed music, you'll see fours written with this, you know, with this triangle, I guess, this uh, triangle kind of triangular top of a four. And, uh, you know, I, I don't want to confuse you. I might write this kind of open top uh, four like that. So hopefully you won't find that confusing. But it mean, it's going to mean the same thing. So, uh, just erase this. Okay. So, uh, anyway, we've got here, in our time signature, we've got two numbers. As I said, a top number, and I'll just write this out here, four, and do this in blue, and a bottom number, four. So, this top number, do this in red, this top number right here, this means the number, the number of beats per measure of music. So, uh, one of the things, I'll kind of write this down at the bottom, uh, the way that music is sort of measured, I guess, or, you know, uh, kind of like how you can write, uh, you measure writing a book, you could measure writing a book in paragraphs or pages or sentences, music is sort of measured, I guess, in measures, or they're sometimes referred to as bars. So you might you might hear measure. Uh, you might hear me say a measure, or you know, uh, or a bar of music, and that's meaning the same thing. So uh, in this playlist, we'll probably do a whole bunch of examples of things that are going to be, you know, and I'll just write some music. So there'll be some music in this bar, and then say that there'll be some music in the next bar. So I'll just write this so it makes a bit more sense. And then there will be some music in that bar. And we'll do a bunch of examples in this playlist of music that will probably be like three or four bars long. Uh, typically, if you were working with, um, if you were uh, writing, you know, if you were, uh, you know, writing, say, a big band chart, you could have, a piece of music that was a few hundred measures long. If you're writing like a full symphony, you could have symphonies that are, you know, uh, a thousand measures long. So music is uh, sort of measured in measures or bars. And uh, then I'm almost out of time. I'll give you this definition right now on what the bottom number is. So we said the top number is the number of beats per measure of music. And the question you might have is what get, gets the beat, or what is a beat of music? And that is what this bottom number is going to tell you. So this is just the note value which gets 
the beat. And with that, I'm out of time, and I'll have to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.